Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. I have a journal that is listed at my website. And once again, I've been moving things around just a little bit. I still have my hosting with GoDaddy. I still have my Etsy shop. And I am still trying to figure out what is the most productive, most economical way for all of us for me to have a website where I can sell products. Ever since I came across all of that vintage um, ephemera that was religious and a lot of the beautiful old uh, Catholic cards, prayer cards, I have a lot of old hymn books and things like that with the pages falling out. Ever since finding all of that, I've been trying to get back into making a few faith and prayer journals, and I actually have uh, someone who wants me to make two of them. So I'm working on those right now, and I decided to put a little faith journal on my website. You can see all the pictures of the journal, every page, and there is a link with a PayPal button to purchase the item. This is the first time I've used this type of thing through PayPal, so we're gonna see how it works with one item and go from there. My Etsy shop is still very active and you can continue to shop there. I have some items I need to list, but alas, I have been very busy lately. This, I love this journal or booklet. Um, I call it a journal because you can put things into it and it's fun to hold, it feels so good to hold. It's, um, it's really relaxing to hold and to look through. Let's take a look at the outside. It's bound with some, like some hemp cord or twine, and that uh, cord is what is holding the little beads, some wooden beads and then a glass or plastic bead and another glass bead. And there's a pretty fabric flower on the front. The cover, of course, is completely fabric and We've got the uh, lace here, the eyelet lace trim. I've stamped the word faith. There's a safety pin with a little cross charm. There's a safety pin here that holds a bottle that has the word faith in it. It's really sweet and my stamp on the back. But let's just look through every page and see what's here. Um, now bear in mind, I did find some really personal ephemera from someone's it appeared to be a lifetime collection. And that this little thing was in there. It's like a covered, sort of a prayer uh, charm or emblem. I'm really not sure what to call it. And I'm not, I'm not really in the know about rosaries and how they work. You know, like if, if one little emblem like this or um, if one little image like this would be considered I just don't know that much about it. Maybe some of you can comment and explain like what this would be. It says, now and at the hour of our death, Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. And it's got, of course, an, an image of Mary. Um, here's an old, this says 1952 on the back. Uh, beautiful old image of the Virgin and the angels. And here is a little prayer card. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. And then we have this beautiful old hymn. I'll stand by until the morning and cleansing wave. And I love to read hymns. I love to sing hymns and read hymns. They're very um, uplifting. Here's just a little booklet with some paper from the, my, my just paper scraps and stained paper. I think I did this yesterday when I was practicing with the mermaid, but it's a place you could record some thoughts or write down favorite verses. This is another card from the old collection I found, Prayer to Saint Dempha, Dempna. I'm not sure how to say that. Prayer to Saint Dymphna. Uh, and it says, uh, Patroness of those afflicted with mental and nervous disorders. This was new to me. Uh, and it seems to have a prayer on the back. There's an old button there with a safety pin. Ah, uh, here's a hymn I really love. 
I Know Whom I Have Believed, and then two more hymns, When Love Shines In and Don't Stop Praying. You can see the beautiful ribbon trim there. I put one of the beautiful old pictures in. That's one of the old ones that I scanned. I did not distress that or anything. You might want to write on that. Happy is the person who not only sings, but feels God's eye is on the sparrow and knows he watches over me. And this says, let us come to the Lord with thanksgiving. Let us sing psalms of praise to him. There's a little uh, rose charm that's been sewn into place. And this is a card about St. Peter and tells a little bit about Peter. There's another one of the beautiful old photographs that I scanned. And here's just a pretty card. It says St. Elizabeth Seton, or Seton, made in Italy. I'm not sure what that is. And here is another page of hymns. God of our fathers, the red, white, and blue, my country tis of thee. That's interesting. There seems to be some patriotic hymns there as well. Another old button. That's pretty. It's got some patina on it. I can hear the wind blowing outside. And this is really pretty. This is from an old, um, an old book of encouragement. The call to prayer. And it just, it's got different verses and thoughts about prayer. It's got, um, this is neat, the church calendar. It runs 1956 through 1965. The Ten Commandments, the Chief Commandments of Christ, the Beatitudes of our Lord Jesus. I guess that's Matthew 5, or 6 and 7, Matthew 5, 3 and 12. Um, Matthew 5, 6, and 7 are those are beautiful chapters to read. And we have a litany and then like a little poem. And another of the old photographs that I printed out. Beautiful old prayer card. And this is actually in memory of someone who had passed away. That was in the collection. And then this is just a pretty old image. It says, the rest on the flight into Egypt. And I think that's really beautiful. You can see the donkey back here, and I'm supposing that that would be Joseph. There's a little angel charm. Here are some little cards from A Course in Miracles. Uh, these are encouraging cards. And there's more ephemera. I just love the images on these. Uh, that old art, just the beautiful old images of angels and you know um, Mary and the Christ child I think they're just so beautiful this was from a deck of cards that were love cards and some of them I didn't I didn't find it appropriate to keep um, but some of them were really sweet this is a love quote if the only prayer you say in your whole life is thank you that would suffice now I I understand what that means and I know that it's it's not trying to to be you know an end-all be-all but it is so true that if we have a thankful heart and if we express that to others that goes a long way in being what is known as charity there's an old rusty safety pin that has the word hope with little beads. And then I got in the mood to paint a little angel on some scrap paper and I wrote pray always at the bottom. So there she is and she is in here. Uh, my friend Brandy, if you drop in, you're always an inspiration to me. Brandy makes the most beautiful angel paintings. And she's definitely an inspiration to me. And uh, Brandy, I was thinking about you when I painted that. So here's another little prayer card. Those who bring sunshine into the lives of others cannot keep it from themselves. And then we've got rejoice in the Lord and be glad. This is from a calendar, uh, February 25th. If any of you fall short in wisdom, he should ask God for it and it will be given him. For God is a generous giver and neither refuses or reproaches anyone.
And then here's just another beautiful old image. That was a card I had in my ephemera. The Church of St. Severin. St. Severin, I guess is how you say that. Um, National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C. And this was part of a larger envelope. I tore the end of it off so that it's a little bit smaller in size. I love that picture out there. I may need to find a charm to go here. At this point, I just have a bulb pen here. I may add a charm or just leave that for you to add what you want to add. Um, so this is it. It's not, it's not tied in any way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should put a little ribbon in here. And just like that, we have this beautiful vintage velvet ribbon to keep it closed. I love that. That's so pretty. So you can see this one has a lot of primitive stitching. You may have some unraveling. I've tried to do a lot of that already. Like, here's a string. I love things like this. I don't worry about that. You know, it's only going to unravel to a certain point. Oh, and I meant to show you in between some of the layers, I have this really pretty netting. You can see it sticking out. A little bit and I think that just adds a really pretty touch so this is on my website and I've put a link there that goes directly to PayPal where you can log in and pay directly through PayPal it may allow other uh, other ways as well like debit card or whatever but we're gonna try this out and see how it works thank you so much for watching I'll be back really soon bye for now